<laughs> what is up everybody <laughs> i hope you guys are having an amazing day per usual and you know what we have an awesome topic today because we're gonna find out are you happy but are you happy though okay and if not that's okay don't worry because i'm gonna give you three awesome tips to get you there okay but first man subscribe if you like the vibe that's all i'm gonna say about that let's get into the video okay <laughs> um so first of all what even is happiness okay because there's probably a lot of opinions a lot of conjecture if you will on what happiness really is, okay? Um, from my perspective, happiness is a state of being, okay? It's a mental state of being, right? So it's fully internal, okay? Nothing in the external is going to, in my opinion, make us happy. It might make things easier to be happy, right? But it's not, you know, having something in the external is not the same thing as being happy on the internal, right? Because if you think about it, there are people who have nothing but are completely happy, right? And there are people who have everything and are miserable on the inside, <laughs> right? So um, being happy is all about your mindset and how you look at things, how you look at the world, how you approach um, the way that you live, right? And so when you are happy, you're at this perfect balanced level um, to where you can feel good, right? And you're smiling and maybe even laughing and even if you're not smiling or laughing, you just have this overall sense of goodness, right? Um, so uh, we all go through times, you know, it's a human, uh, it's a human experience, right? To, to be happy and it's a human experience to not be happy, right? We all fluctuate through, um, you know, through the different spectrum of emotion <laughs> for humans. And um, essentially the goal is though, in my opinion, the goal is to, you know, try to be as happy as possible possible as often as possible right I that's my goal anyways I don't know about you I invite you to make that your goal because who doesn't love being happy right am I right am I right who doesn't love being happy <laughs> okay so I have three awesome steps okay three awesome steps you can take tips you can apply to your life that will help you reach a sense of happiness okay and these tips are good for no matter where you're at in your life, okay? Regardless of what's going on in your external world, if you apply these three tips to your life, you are gonna be three steps closer to ultimate happiness. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. So, step number one is to, um, to enter into a state of acceptance, okay? When you accept things for what they are, you accept the external, you accept other people, you accept events, for what they are and you don't you know wish anything different about them you're just fully in a state of acceptance just allowing things to be what they are without casting judgment or trying to manipulate or change the situation then there you go you are one step happy uh, one step closer to being happy okay um because you know a lot of things happen outside of our control in fact i would argue that most things happen outside of our control so when we um when we accept and we realize that we can really only control ourselves there's not much that we can do to control you know the events and the people that take place in the external world outside of ourselves um that's the first key step to becoming or to allowing right to becoming um a state to becoming into a state of acceptance words work work with me words work with me <laughs> um and so when we just allow things right you know regardless of what we wanted regardless of our hopes regardless of what somebody said regardless of our dreams regardless of anything that we thought or wanted to happen right um if we just accept things for how they are you know maybe a person said that they were going to do x y and z for you and then they didn't do it you have no control over what that person does you only have control over what you do right so you just have to accept that situation that person for what it is which is that they lied or, you know, maybe they didn't lie. Maybe, um, you know, life happens sometimes. Maybe they fully intended on doing what they said that they were gonna do. But again, for whatever reason, they weren't able to do it, okay? We're not talking about, you know, the ethics or the morals of that situation, but we are talking about, you know, just accepting and just understanding, okay, well, X, Y, and Z isn't gonna get done by that person regardless of what they said. So I'm just gonna accept and do it for myself, right? Or if you don't wanna do it yourself, then you probably didn't need X, Y, and Z in the first place, okay? <laughs> um, so being in a state of allowance and just accepting things for what they are and accepting the events of life as they unfold and, and being aware that you only can really control yourself and how you react to these things is going to be the first step of happiness, right? Because you're not going to be wishing that things were different. You're not going to feel hopeless. You're not going to feel like a victim because you're just going to understand that you were never in a position to um, control anything in the first place. 
it only seemed like maybe kind of you had an influence when in reality you were only influencing yourself, right? So step number one, acceptance, right? Allowing things to be what they are without attaching judgment, without um, trying to manipulate or wishing that they were, that they or the person or the situation was something different, right? Um, step number two is going to be taking action to be in the present moment, okay? To be in the present moment essentially means to allow your mind to be at peace, okay? When your mind is at peace, you're not worried about the future, you're not reminiscing about the past, okay? You're simply being in the present moment without any monkey chatter, okay? Okay, we are fully experiencing the spectrum of that moment, okay? You're fully, your, your, your recording camera of your brain is on, essentially, right? You're, you're noticing everything, you're taking in the emotions, you're feeling what you feel, you're maybe engaging in, in, engaging in important conversation or, you know, any type of conversation, you know, maybe you're laughing, you're having good jokes, you know, you know let, let's say somebody, let's say you're hanging out with your friends, okay, and somebody tells you a good joke. If you're not fully in that present moment, maybe you're thinking about the groceries that you need to buy later at the store, okay? Instead of enjoying time with your friends. I mean, come on, man. First of all, enjoy the time with your friends, okay? First of all, you can worry about groceries later when you're at the grocery store. Funny how that works, right? Um, but let's say your friend has, tries to tell you a funny joke. You, you're not even fully able to laugh. You might have like kind of heard it and it kind of registered. So you like, ah, ha, ha, like you let out a little chuckle, you know what I mean? But if you had been fully present in that moment, that may, that was maybe maybe would have been the funniest joke you heard all week, but you weren't fully there. You didn't fully get to experience that joke, right? So you didn't get to fully laugh and fully engage in that connection with your friend in that moment, right? Um, and later in the future, when you do re reminisce and you do look back on that moment, because there's nothing wrong with reminiscing, right? Um, from time to time, when you do look back, you might not even remember, remember what the joke was. Right? Because you weren't fully there. Your camera wasn't focused on the joke. You, you were replaying uh, or you were essentially writing the script for what you're going to get later at the grocery store. Right? So, or what have you, you know, whatever the, the situation is. Um, so you weren't allowing yourself to be present in that moment. Okay? So you missed out on that moment. Right? When we allow ourselves to be present in the moment, we are setting ourselves up for the perfect opportunities of happiness right? Um, you know, because happiness, just like any other emotion, is fleeting, right? It comes, it goes, we ride the wave, we do whatever we got to do, right? We're, we're experiencing the full spectrum of human emotion. Um, and in that moment, you could have potentially been very happy, right? But instead, you were worried about something else later that you have to do in the future, and you missed out on that moment of happiness, okay? So when we take time, when we practice being present in the present moment every single day, like, let's say that um, the amount of time that we spend in the present grows and grows each day, you are going Going to find that your happiness your sense of happiness your perspective on how you look at things is also going to grow and grow in a more positive way every day okay taking action to allow your mind to be in the present moment regardless of you know it may not you know it may even be something sad happening you might be at court <laughs> getting charged with the crime that you didn't do okay but i promise you being present in that moment is going to be 10 times more beneficial and you'll be glad you did than being off in la la land somewhere because the moment that they because the moment that they say something that crucial element that's going to vindicate you and prove that you didn't do it you're going to be able to catch that and be like, "Well, sir, judge, if if that's the case, then I couldn't have possibly been at X, Y, and Z." Da 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 da. da. You know what I'm saying? But instead, you were off in dreamland worrying about, "Oh, how horrible prison is going to be." And you just basically let them lie on you in court. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I that may not be the best example because court. <sighs> Am I right? <laughs> Anywho, that's a whole nother 10 videos for a whole nother 10 days, okay? <laughs> but um, anyway, so that is step number two, right? Is to be in the present moment, to practice being in the present moment. This is gonna take some time and some effort for a lot of us, right? Unless you're already, you've are already you already been practicing that, unless you're already really good at that, that's one of your strengths. A lot of us, it's gonna take practice to be able to be in the present moment, right? It really is gonna take a lot of um, effort to rewire and re- um, focus the brain for the present moment okay but I promise it's worth it if you give it a try all right so step number three that is going to potentially lead you to ultimate happiness if you take me up on these tips okay is are you ready drum roll please <laughs> gratitude man who knew I was gonna say gratitude did you you knew I was gonna say that didn't you man you're so smart I love you <laughs> okay gratitude um gratitude 
first of all, is the key to everything, not just happiness. I'm telling you. You heard it here first, folks. Don't say I didn't tell you. Gratitude is the key to everything, okay? But especially happiness because when you are grateful, okay, you will feel so full, okay? You feel full, like fully charged. Your battery's on full. You, your, your heart space is full. Um, your mindset is full, right? It's basically just like, it's, it's a very abundant type of energy, okay? To be grateful grateful is to accept things for what they fully are in the moment regardless of your external circumstances and to to be okay with them to be grateful for them to be glad that things are the way that they are in that present moment right it's to fully accept to be in the present moment and to be glad that it's happening right great gratitude is one of the highest vibrations it is one of the most beautiful vibrations in my opinion and by being gratitude or excuse me yeah by being gratitude and also by being grateful um you are basically inviting the universe to give you more of what you want right more things to be grateful for more things to fill you up in the present moment okay even if you know and i know that this is really hard easier said than done but um even being grateful for the struggles, right? Even being grateful for the hard times, even being grateful for the, the unfun lessons, right? Because not all lessons are fun ones, right? We all know that, that's a part of the human experience. Um, but being grateful for the things that we learn, regardless of if it was fun or not fun, regardless if it was easy or hard, um, is going to allow us to elevate ourselves in a way um, that in invites more happiness in, right? And when we allow ourselves to be happy through the struggle, when we are allow ourselves to be grateful, to be vibing so high, even when you know bad things are happening, um, we essentially we essentially are inviting happiness into our mind, right? We are training our mind to be happy regardless of what we have or don't have, but also you know while at the same time being glad for the things that we do have, right? So everyone has something. Everyone has actually a lot of things, right? Even people who have nothing have a lot, right? <laughs> um, you know, the true testimony of happiness would be like if you lost everything, if you lost everything, right? You had nothing on the external. You had no money. You had no phone. You had no home. You had no friends. You had no family. You had no pets. You have literally nothing except for just yourself, just your consciousness inside of your meat sack, <laughs> and you had nothing else, um, would you still be happy? Right? If you, if you can say yes to that, if you say yes, I'm fully happy just being myself, like literally just being me, living inside my body, and I have everything that I need, right? Because we, that, like I said, we have a lot. Even if even if we have nothing in the external, just to have our own bodies and our own consciousness and our own brains and our own thoughts and our own feelings, all of that is truly a blessing. Okay, life is the blessing itself, right? So when we can be grateful for everything that we have, we are essentially embodying happiness, right? And we're inviting more happiness and more um, good vibe, more good feelings and high vibrations into our life, okay? So I invite you today, okay, to do one thing that makes you happy, no matter what it is, okay? Also, I invite you to, you know, do these three tips um, on the regular, but um, specifically today, when you watch this video, I hope this motivates you to do one thing that you know for a fact is going to make you happy right you know that it's gonna like instill this feeling of goodness inside of you and while you're doing that one thing I want you to try all of the three tips that I gave you right which is um, allowing being in a state of allowing so no matter what else is going on in your external world maybe you just got dumped by your girlfriend today boo freaking who okay she didn't see your worth anyways so you didn't lose much did you okay um, it might feel like you did, right? But to accept that, and let's say you want to paint a picture, right? Like, so what you got dumped, I want you to accept, accept for what happened, accept what happened today, and I want you to paint your painting, and I want you to be fully present. So that means while you're painting your painting, don't be thinking about your girlfriend, okay? Don't be thinking about your boyfriend. Don't be thinking about what happened last week at the supermarket when, every, when you slipped and fell and everybody laughed at you. you who cares about that? Put all of those monkey thoughts aside, right? Be fully present in that thing that you want to do, and then at the same time be grateful be grateful that you have the time the body the motor skills the thoughts you you even have the experience to know that doing that thing is going to make you happy right whatever it is okay whatever did that one thing that you're gonna do that I'm inviting you to do today I ask you to not only do that thing but to apply these three um, tips into your life 
and you let me know you come back to this video and let me know comment down later like come back later you can comment now if you want to but comment down later and be like hey Mick I did that thing and I tried those three tips when I did that thing and you were right it's amazing and I'm so happy yeah and then I want you to put like a bunch of awesome emojis in there just to like reconfirm how happy you are okay <laughs> and you know what there you have it there is the three things that uh, the three tips that will help you uh, find true happiness okay if you made it to the end of this video first of all I am so grateful for you thank you so much go ahead and hit the like button if you want to show your girl some reciprocal love I would very much appreciate that uh, and uh, yeah don't forget to subscribe if you like the vibe that's all I'm gonna say about that man much love I'll see you guys next time peace love ya bye